Something wrong, brother? Yes. Are you sick? Sick at heart. Oh, what seems to be the trouble? Come on. Speak out. I have so much to give. And nobody will take. Ah, my problem is also one of distribution. Only happens to be the other way around. The other way around? Quite. What do you mean? I mean that I have so much to take, and nobody will give. Strange. Strange indeed. But this is even stranger. I'm certain I can help you. Very kind. Tut, tut, who helps another helps himself. Now, if I may be allowed to analyze your case. Analyze? Listen, you're trying to give people something, right? Right. And people won't take it? Right. Why not? Why not, indeed? I wish I knew. Because, my poor misguided friend, they can't. Can. Can not. But surely nothing could be simpler than taking something which is freely given. Well, you're speaking of a true or actual world. Imagine, if you can, a world so blurred that its inhabitants are one another. An idiotic monster of negation. So timid, it would rather starve itself eternally than run the risk of choking. So greedy, nothing satisfies its hunger, but always huger quantities of nothing. A world so lazy that it cannot dream. So blind, it worships its own ugliness. A world so false, so trivial, so unso that phantoms are solid by comparison. But no, you can't imagine such a world. Any more than such a world could imagine me. Very good. Now... As to this ungivable something you're trying to give, this, this gift which nobody can take, what just exactly is it? I don't know. <laughs> I do. Do you? Yeah. It is understanding. Understanding? Yes. Tell me, how do you know? You told me when you answered, I don't know. And when you said you had something to give, you told me. For isn't understanding the only gift? Well, there's precisely your predicament. We're not living in an age of gifts. This is an age of salesmanship, my friend. And you are heavy with the one thing which simply can't be sold. May I ask you a question? Go right ahead. What's the easiest thing to sell? <laughs> Knowledge. Knowledge. Without understanding. Correct. No. Absolutely. But that's absurd. Absurd and also tragic, yet a fact. In this un-un-understanding world, anyone can sell knowledge, everybody wants knowledge, and there's no price people won't pay to get it. Become a scientist and your fortune's made. Scientist? Or, in plain English, uh, <laughs> a knowledge salesman. I have no knowledge, only understanding. Forget your understanding for a little while. And as for knowledge, why? Don't let that worry you. Because once people hear the magic name of science, hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can sell people anything. Except for understanding. Yes. Anything at all? You mean provided? Provided nothing. You don't mean to tell me that I could sell people something which didn't exist? Why not? You don't suppose people exist, do you? Don't people exist? People? 
<laughs> I'll say they don't. Oh, I wish to heaven they did exist. In that case, I shouldn't be the skeleton I am. No, in this science game, this knowledge racket, infinity's your limit. But remember, the less something exists, the more people want it. I can't seem to think of anything which doesn't exist. Perhaps you could help. Hmm. How about... A wheel mine? A wheel mine? Surely a wheel mine doesn't exist and never will and never has existed. A wheel mine? But that's perfectly fantastic! <laughs> oh, well, no. why say fantastic when you mean scientific? Well, I'll be strolling. So long, Mr. Scientist. <laughs> I've got him now. <laughs> Help! Oh, hello there. What's your hurry? Help! Quick! For mercy's sake, they're after me. After you? After me, yes. They're, they're coming. Who's coming? Everybody! Why? It's the accident. Accident? <laughs> to the miners in the mine. Miners? The wheel miners! Look, are you crazy? I, I, I don't know. Will you tell me something? Tell you what? Do wheel mines exist? Or don't they? A wheel mine? Yes. Don't be ridiculous. You mean it doesn't exist? Ex exist, of course not. In other words, a wheel mine is non-existent, isn't it? Perfectly. Oh, then tell me. Tell me, how can it maim? How can it mutilate? How can it turn mere people into monsters? Tell me, how? Uh, my friend, you've forgotten something. Namely that people, like wheel mines, don't exist. Two negatives. You know? Make an affirmative. Now, if I may be allowed to analyze your case... Do you want to die? What? I die? <laughs> How could death die? Death? You didn't know. Oh, I'm going mad. You tell me, whatever you are, death or the devil, tell me, how can I prove I'm not to blame for the damage caused by an accident which happened to people who are non-existent? You can't. Oh my god. Well, what am I to do then? Do? Why, my dear fellow. It looks to me as if you'd have to prove you don't exist yourself. But that's absurd. And tragic, yet a fact. <laughs> so make it snappy, Mr. Santa Claus. Ah, hello. <laughs> well, you're looking better. Better? <laughs> Why not? I take it my advice proves efficacious? Death? I owe you my life. Oh, you don't say so. Absolutely. Well, my friend, I'm going to ask you to do me a favor now. Oh, go right ahead. I've got a heavy date for the swell Jane up the street a little ways, but something tells me she prefers plump fellas. 
Will you give me your fat and take my skeleton? Oh, with all the pleasure in the world! <laughs> Old timer, I'll even throw in a wheel mine for luck. <laughs> <laughs> no, no wheel mines, thank you. I just saw a child. Child? I was... Thinking of the old days, huh? <laughs> well... Children are your specialty. I've always loved them. And I shall love them always. <sighs> De gustibus no dispintandum est. Or in good American, <laughs> I prefer women. Have you ever loved a woman? Pardon me, did you just say love? I said love. No. Have you? Once. Well, everybody makes mistakes. I'll see you later. <laughs> so long, Mr. Death. 